You might ask, why am I even watching this? Let me explain. This is me, a language lover, an aspiring polyglot, someone who is fascinated to learn about different cultures and people who live in different parts of this beautiful planet we call home. As a child, unlike most children, I didn't like to spend all my time watching cartoons on TV. I was so obsessed with traveling and knowing about different countries that I would watch travel documentaries, scientific documentaries, and uh, read books and novels like uh, Around the World in 80 Days. This interest in traveling and seeing the world, as well as this desire to connect with people from different countries, from different parts of the world, led me to an everlasting, unique love for languages. You might ask, why languages? Because mainly I didn't want to just read about things on a piece of paper. Instead, I wanted to make deep connections with people and their cultures. So that actually was the beginning of my love, my passion for languages. Now let me tell you a little bit about my language journey. It was a hell of a journey, by the way. Despite all this passion that I had for languages, I didn't start learning any languages until I fell deeply in love with India. And all of that began with a Bollywood movie named Ishq. Uh, this movie had a huge impact on me that I, I got interested in every single thing related to India. I, I started watching Bollywood movies, I started reading about India, watching documentaries about India, and listening to a lot of Hindi songs. Those Hindi songs became a huge part of my life. I would spend hours listening to Hindi songs every single day, and I just wanted to know what the singer was saying, because Hindi is so beautiful. And on top of that, I wanted to be able to read Hindi scripts. I mean, just look at this. This is absolutely beautiful. Well, I decided to learn Hindi, of course. But back in the day, it was absolutely impossible to find any resources for languages other than English, French, and German. And the internet wasn't as available as it is now. But I was so excited about Hindi that I went to every bookstore in the city I asked everyone who was in the book business to see if I can find anything in Hindi. But the result was just disappointing. <laughs> After weeks and weeks of searching, I finally found one and only one book. Let me show you. <clears throat> this is the book I found. It's called uh, Hindi for Travelers to India. and. It's basically a book about things you need to say when you are a tourist uh, in India. I bought the book, of course, and as soon as I got home, I started studying it. And you won't believe it, but uh, I learned the entire Hindi alphabet in under 30 minutes. So in half an hour, I was able to read in Hindi. That was just crazy. And I can't just describe this feeling that I had uh, back then when I when for the first time I was able to read in Hindi I was just so happy so so happy I didn't know what they what the words meant but I sure could read them so this is how my journey with Hindi began a few years later I started watching a Korean TV series it was named uh, the Snow Queen and yes, you guessed it right. I fell for Korean this time and I had to start learning Korean. Uh, I also started listening to a lot of Korean songs. I will leave uh, the link to some of those songs in, in the description. So that is how I started learning Korean. After that, I didn't do any serious language studies for, for a few years. Uh, then at the age of 17, I borrowed a CD from one of my friends and in that CD, there were two English music videos. One was uh, Leave Me Alone, and the other was Dance Me to the End of Love from Leonard Cohen. And I'm gonna be honest with you, those were the first English songs I ever listened to. And, and they touched me in a way that I had to start learning English. 
but I didn't have any money to attend any classes and I didn't have any money to buy any books and on top of that I didn't even know where to start so I started saving up for a couple of weeks and uh, after that I went to a bookstore and bought some English books and this time I started learning a language seriously I was so passionate and so excited that I spent more than 18 hours every single day studying English I would read books I would watch animations and write down every single dialogue I heard uh, I would uh, use apps I would listen to podcasts I would you know uh, watch YouTube videos I did everything that I could do to learn English and the result was just absolutely unbelievable after only 40 to 50 days, uh, I was fairly fluent in English and I could hold conversations for hours about different topics. And one day I was having a conversation with uh, an English teacher from Brazil who had been teaching English for more than 15 years. And uh, at some point he asked me, how long have you been learning English? And I said, <laughs> only 40 days. And he couldn't just believe it, you know, that I could hold uh, a conversation for 45 minutes uh, after only 30 or 40 days of studying English. Two years passed and it was time for me to enter university. And I confidently chose to pursue my education in English language and literature. And I have to tell you, it was the best decision of my life. Why? Because uh, number one, I loved studying English and number two, I loved literature. I loved reading books, reading novels, plays, poems, studying about the history of, of literature. And all of them, in a way, were connected to culture, to, to knowing about the culture of all English speaking countries. So I had a fantastic time at college. And around that time, I found my most favorite language of all time, which is Spanish. So I immediately started learning Spanish. But at the same time, uh, we had some courses in French at, at university. And uh, I started uh, learning French as well. And this period of time was the worst period in my language learning journey ever <laughs> why because i wanted to learn both languages both french and spanish but i didn't know which one to pick first which one to learn first so i would choose french for example and study it for a couple of weeks and then an inner voice in my head uh, kept repeatedly asking me to learn the other language so i would stop learning french and I start learning Spanish for, for a couple of weeks and then the other inner voice would, would tell me to stop learning Spanish and start learning French. So I jumped back and forth between French and Spanish for many months. But uh, right in the middle of this mess, there came Chinese. Some of my Chinese friends came to Iran to study Persian at an international university. And one day they came to my city to visit me and also see the city. Uh, and uh, they introduced me to Chinese. They made me listen to some Chinese songs. And of course, I had to start learning Chinese. I just want to learn all the languages. But of course, it was impossible to find Chinese books. So one of my friends, he was the sweetest guy ever. When he went back to China, he sent me this huge package filled with Chinese books and magazines and DVDs and everything that was necessary for learning Chinese. So that's how I started learning Chinese. A little bit later, I became interested in languages like uh, Greek, Japanese, and of course Italian, which uh, in the future episodes, I will talk about all of them in detail. Now let me tell you a little bit about what we're going to do in this channel and what you should be expecting to see. First, I will talk about how I learn languages. I will talk about the methods I use, uh, 
the resources I use, what apps I use, and what are the best YouTube channels to learn languages, which podcasts are, are, are the best ones to learn languages with. Then I will take you along with me in my language learning journey. We will also have uh, interviews with the most successful language learners and polyglots in the world. I will also introduce uh, the best free language learning resources. I will tell you how I earn money from the languages uh, that I know. And I will give you tips and tricks on how to find a job uh, with the languages that you know and uh, how to make money and how to grow and, and find opportunities for your future. We will also uh, create a community on Facebook or any other uh, platform so that we can share our story, our language stories, and find partners to practice with. So make sure to subscribe and click the bell icon as well so you'll be notified every time I drop a new video. And share this video with anyone you think might be interested in languages. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.